YouTube, what's going on? And today, came home, I was feeling good. It's not Friday, but I was feeling good anyway. And today I'm making, uh, what's it called again? Apple crumble. Apple crumble, that's the one. I think we've got all the ingredients we need. So where we got? We've got some plain flour. Oh, plain flour here. Some ground cinnamon. Some brown sugar. A demerara type. Some unsalted butter. Some custard. This is for when it's actually ready. And some apples, and I've got the Granny Smith type, you know, the nice hard ones. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna get this peeled and cut it into small pieces, and hopefully that should do it. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, the main reason I decided to make apple crumble is because we happen to have most of the ingredients in the house. It's super, super easy, and even me, the most rubbish of cooks or bakers or I don't know what to call it. But yeah, anyway, I'm not amazing when it comes to like baking cakes and stuff. Apple crumble is super easy. I made it when I was like 13, right? So it's doable and it tasted good. Mm. Ta da! Okay, it's not quite ready yet, but I just yeah. cut it into pieces. Um, now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna preheat the oven. Place the flour and sugar in the bowl. Okay, so here's what we've got. So this is supposed to be 175 grams. Uh, I put a bit less because I thought that it was a lot. It's a lot of sugar. Um, this was supposed to be 200. I decided to put 170 because again, okay, to be fair, my technique was really rubbish. So I cut it into like these really weird pieces. It's not, it's a lot of butter, but this isn't something you make every day. And then here's how much flour I've got. I've got 300 grams here. And so what I'm gonna do is mix the butter with the flour. I'm gonna have to cut this into smaller pieces. Okay, so now just throw in little chunks of butter with the flour. And according to the recipe, it's supposed to look like breadcrumbs. Oh, you're looking at breadcrumbs right now. Yeah. Okay, so um, latest update. I think I managed to flop. I was supposed to put the sugar in with the flour mixture and I put it in here. Now, that might be alright. We'll see if it's edible. Okay, this, this is the truth. This is how bush I am, yeah? I don't have a bloody bowl. So, <laughs> you know what? It said mix in a large bowl. I don't have a big bowl, I'm sorry. So, I had to put it in a pot. So, they want you to have like 12 that's, bowls. that's how we're gonna mix it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so, we managed to flop an apple crumble. This is, this is a sad day, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, come on, it's hilarious. Um, so, because, in my defense, the recipe is really, really badly written and I couldn't tell what was the crumble and what was the filling. And so what's happened is I've mixed the crumble with the filling. Even though I know that the crumble is supposed to go on top, so it looks like this. <clears throat> we're, we're gonna bake it anyway and see what happens. One. I just want to say that I'm super happy right now. Managed to salvage it somehow. Got the apple out. And now we're gonna add it on top. So it kind of still looks like crumble. Happy days. Pour in some custard for good measure. 
been in there for about 40 minutes. I'm gonna take it out. Am I taking it out, yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright. Ah, uh, excuse me. Doesn't look too shabby. It's pretty damn good, actually. It's so good, it's so good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so closing statement that actually tasted really, really good. Even though we flopped it, it still came out decent. So, to anyone who doesn't, well, who claims they don't know how to, you know, make cake or pastries or whatever, try the apple crumble. It's probably the easiest thing you will ever have to make. All right, thanks for watching and until the next episode, over and out.